dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support the senator representing abia south in the senate senator ayinaya abaribi has reacted to the sad events that took place in enugu Reacting to the news, Eyin Naya Abaribe wondered why the Nigerian police and soldiers found it easy to shoot unarmed civilians in Igbo land, while terrorists are allowed to walk free in the north. You can't kill unarmed civilians while terrorists are being pampered, Senator Eyin Naya Abaribe says. In his words, I have said it severally that the way this government is handling the IPOP issue while the BH guys are given kids gloves is uncalled for. This will only put in the mind of every Igbo youth that they are not part of Nigeria. In this same country, where many people have been killed by the BH guys and headsmen, while the security agencies do nothing about it, but will easily shoot unarmed IPOP members who are exercising their rights to self-determination. Let it also be noted that Nigeria recognizes the rights to movement, assembly, and opinion. I condemn this attack in totality and with the government of Enugu state and federal government do and wish the government of Enugu and the federal government do what do what they can to stop further killings of IPOP members he stated all right guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were concerning what Ayinaya Abaribe has said I think so far in the Nigerian Senate or in the Senate, Office of the Senate, um, Senator Eyinaya Baribe has been the senator who has been more outspoken against the administration of Muhammad Buhari, and he has stood by the Igbos, and uh, especially the IPOP members, in all of his positions, as it were. Be that as it is, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, let's take a few reactions and let's hear what uh, people are saying concerning this particular issue. Gabriel Asiebu says the senator should lead his IPOP fighters to a forest like Shekau in continuation of the agenda instead of inciting the innocent boys while enjoying the comfort of his mansions. Okay, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning this? I wonder how Nigeria is finished under Buhari. People should be ready to defend themselves and their territory. Really? Well, it's what it is. It is sad and unfortunate. Olaika Adewale says, other Igbos are so quiet on this issue. They should not forget the tale of the antelope chased by a hunter, seeking refuge on Tiger, telling him to shield him from impending danger, saying, if the hunter succeeded in killing him, it's likely be, it will likely be the turn of the tiger, but the tiger's comfortably turned away from helping. At the end of the hunt, at the end of the day, the hunter used the females, the long bone at the upper leg of the antelope, as an arrow to kill the tiger. Igbos, please stand by your youths, okay? Okay, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning this? Another person says, Voice of the voiceless is Eyinaya Baribi. God is with you. The only Igbo representative, the rest are just selfish fools who are already cursed by men, both men and God, says. Our person says, God bless you for speaking the truth because Enugu state governor is a boy boy to Buhari's government, so he will not talk. Frederick Wunna says, the only man in the house, God bless you, sir. Another person says, Ezio Kubundu, Iga Dio. 
You are the only one that will stand behind evil youths. Others want to please their slaves, slave masters. Abdul, one owner is saying, Senator Abaribe must confess to Nigeria that he is the leader and representative of IPOP in the National Assembly. Okay? What is preventing IPOP from going into armed uh, guerrilla warfare in order to get recognition from the Fulanized government of Buhari? Is it because of cowardice or inability to procure arms and ammunition? Okay? Guys, what are your thoughts? The Nigerian security forces are cowards. They run away from the BH guys but find courage whenever they see IPOP. Could this be the situation? Could this be the reality? Well, it remains to be seen. Temilolu Alawal says, Confirmation saying my Senate. Proverbs 33, Proverbs 3.33 says, The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but blessed but he blessed the rehabilitation of the just. Okay. Ken Ohiri says, You are the only person I know that says the truth. Referring to any Naya Baribi, I must guess. Ible says, The only true and genuine Eastern senator we have. God's got your back full time. Chris Santos says, Uche Obuleke says, More volume, sir. You are the only person we have in Igbo land who can speak for our people. God will continue to protect you. Well, be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? The truth remains that the federal government needs to uh, go out and exercise their, pow their powers on the people, guys. You know, deal with the issues of the BH guys. After dealing with the issues of the BH guys, you know, they can now come and talk about fairness and justice. But in the real sense of it, the federal government has not been fair to Nigerians, neither has they been fair to the Southeasterners. The BH guys are still carrying out their attacks here and there. Bandits ha has now joined, you know, but so far the federal government and the security agents have not been able to fully apprehend the matter, the issue. Uh, now they are opening up fire on uh, civilians, on armed civilians, as it were, IPOP members. Does it really, really uh, all go well as it thinks? No, it does not. Something definitely has to be done. Well, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected. Senator Eni Nayabaribe seems to be the only senator so far that speaks the minds of the Igbo people as it is or as a nation a true uh, nationalist as he is he as he is to be well it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story at the moment kudos to senator enyanaya abaribi for standing his ground and for coming out to speak against the killing imagine that just after that uh, issue in MNA in uh, Enugu State, the same people who, uh, who or some of the people who were part of that delegation also went to uh, Enugu State or traveled to Enugu State from Abuja to commission the airport, despite the job not being completed as it is. But guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular level situation and the way at which the government runs the country? It remains to be seen if we can put an end to all the service. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story? Please kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.